You know, it's truly something when old sermon clips begin to resurface that really make you look bad. I mean, with Mike Bickle, of all people, in this sermon, talking about the incredible worth of a woman (laughs) in light of all of the allegations that are now mounting up against him. We're going to talk about this. This is incredible. It really is. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, why not consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation? I could really use your help. There's a couple different ways you could do it. One easy way, just click that super thanks button on this YT video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can do, it doesn't matter how big or how small, it's always a blessing. Or become a premium member of my Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash notbysightnews. That link in the description. You can join for as little as five bucks a month. When you do, you're going to get access to all of my videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You also get exclusive links over there, these topics we discuss that I can't always include on YT for the obvious reasons. You can comment censorship-free over there and even send me DMs if you'd like. So check it out. Again, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Here we have, you know, Mike Bickle, the champion for women, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I know, right? I mean, never mind these allegations that are out there right now. Who doesn't, this doesn't care? Who cares about that stuff, right? It ain't legit. Mike Bickle speaking from the pulpit, talking about the incredible worth of a woman, about honoring your wife and the connections, the link that it has to the prayer movement. I mean, it's incredible. It truly is. And so in this clip, which I will, by the way, put a link to here in the description, Bickle is talking about how, and the timing is interesting on this. He talks about he was... He was woke up around 3 a.m. It was in 1995. And he said that the Lord had spoke to him and and Mike had begun to prophesy to himself. (laughs) He said this was the first time that he had ever just prophesied to himself. And he said that God had put this on his heart, the incredible worth of a woman and how important it is to honor them. And that the link to honoring women is all connected to the prayer movement. It's very important. I mean, I mean, as, as he's talking here, I mean, you just know with everything now that is out and everything that he was doing in the background, even decades prior, even decades prior, he's up here on the pulpit preaching about this stuff and doing the complete opposite. I mean, if you ever needed any more proof that this guy was a phony all along, look no further than from this, this sermon clip. I mean, it's just, it is unreal. The exposure continues. Now, Bickle talks about, you know, the important roles of women and how, you know, with your own wife, that if you do not honor her, that, well, your prayers will be hindered. How can God work through you? And how can he honor your prayers if you're not honoring your wife? I mean, wouldn't that really make, Mike's entire ministry null and void because we know he hasn't honored his wife since the very beginning. (laughs) I mean, it's just all right here. He goes on a little bit more to talk about how, and this, it just gets even better. Okay. He goes on to talk about how, you know, even inappropriate jokes. Those are not pleasing. Those are not honoring women. Inappropriate touches that you think are innocent, but really have other motives behind them. (laughs) Because we know Mike never did that, right? We know that that every time he, you know, rubbed the back of some of these women or tousled their hair, we know that was, you know, well, it was fine, right? No, we know exactly what he was doing. He's preaching against it here in this sermon clip, saying that it sends the wrong message and that we need to honor these women And he wasn't honoring his wife all along. Now, you know, I talked about the timeline. He says that he had this prophetic vision, this word from God in 1995. And if you remember, the original Jane Doe, 
that shared her story. She came out and shared this in November of 2023. She talked about how the interaction with Bickle really started uh, right in the late 90s. So around 99, it was around that time. So <laughs> obviously here, a few years, you know, Mike, you know, saying that he had this vision, whatever, just a couple of years later, then look what he did with the Jane Doe. And again, even decades prior, we can go all the way back to the 70s. We talk about, you know, TH when TH came out with her story and then Tammy Woods came out with her story and talked about what Mike Bickle was doing when he was just, you know, in the, you know, a youth intern at the time. I mean, you want to talk about, you want to talk about lulling the, the flock to sleep here, the sheep. I mean, look no further. I mean, if you look at the words that he's saying, the words are actually, you know, you should be honoring women. You shouldn't be treating them with respect. You shouldn't be doing anything inappropriate, except he was. And that's how he built his entire ministry was based off false prophecies, the manipulation to try and lure these women, the relationships that he was having with them while promising them spiritual things about how I'll launch you, you join me in the chariot. I talked about this the other day with Misty Edwards. Join me in the chariot. We're going places, right? He did that with, with Tammy Woods and so many others. The prophecies that he used about Diane passing away and how you're going to you know take her place. You could be the new mother of my kids. Just sick. The man is sick. He knew exactly what he was doing all along. Come out with a message like that, knowing that you yourself are violating and going against the very words that you are preaching to people. The man should be ashamed of himself, except he's not. He's not. There is no fear of the Lord when it comes to Mike Bickle. It's all about him. The manipulation has continued even up to this day. There has been no genuine sign. And look, for, put repentance over here to the side for a second. Because sometimes we talk about, that. that's very important. Repentance is very important. But at the same time, I do not believe this man is saved. I don't. If you are truly walking with Christ, to walk with Christ, let me, let me, let me say this. Jesus said this, that if you love me, you would keep my commandments. Did Mike Bickle at any point during his so-called ministry keep his commandments? Does he truly love the Lord? Hmm. By the looks of the fruit that he's produced, the answer to that question is a resounding no. But I want to hear from you guys. Sound off down below in the comment section. Again, I will have the link to that sermon clip in the description. You can check it out. What I want to do right now is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet, not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link in the description or just hit the super thanks button down below on this YT video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.